This is Shu Uchida, and today we're going to be talking about the sticky and smelly but delicious natto. Hello again, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the Japanese food natto. I think some of you who already learn about Japanese culture may know, but it's fermented soybeans, and um, it has. <laughs> It has this distinctive smell that some people say it smells like feet or some rotten food. So um, I prepared the natto here today and um, I'll let you guys see what kind of food it is. So usually these natto come in packages made out of, what is it, styrofoam? What is it called? Like foam? I don't know if you can see it properly, but in these like plastic packaging and um, usually it comes with sauce I'm gonna open it but it kind of looks like this and you're gonna open the package and it's gonna look like this I think seeing this it just looks like normal soybeans but I'm gonna show you a little bit of why so many people think it looks a little bit disgusting. So Japanese people eat a lot of food made out of soybeans and that may include edamame or edamame which comes out in say like izakaya or um, some people just eat it at home because it's like healthy for you. Um, they also you know soy sauce is also made out of soybeans. What else? Um, there's kinako which is powdered roasted soybeans so the soybeans are roasted and then they're pow like they they're like grinded into powder and they're used on mochi so like sticky rice um what else is there soybeans are also used in miso and they're also used in tofu as well and so natto is a part of the different kinds of for different kinds of soybeans that japanese people eat we'll see how sticky this Soybean gets. Here's my um, natto that I prepared for today's video. And usually it comes with like sauce and mustard. And so I'm gonna put both of them in and we're gonna go mix it and see how it looks like. So I wanted to actually take videos of me um, putting the sauce in as well, but I only have one camera, so yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put that in and now after putting the sauce and the the mustard it looks like this Okay, and then we're gonna go mix it and see How it will sound or tastes Okay, so I'm gonna be mixing it in front of the mic so you can kind of hear how it sounds when I mix it okay. So um, soybeans, the reason why they're really um, sticky is that fermenting it creates that sticky feeling and they say um, the more you mix natto the more healthier it is for your body. I know some people who like make really really mix it until it becomes kind of frothy. <laughs> so when you mix it a little bit it kind of looks like this right but then because people say it's better if you mix it more. Some people mix it a lot so that it's like... So it kind of looks like that. If you can kind of see. So the more you mix it, the more frothy it gets. Oh. <laughs> the more frothy it gets. Yeah. Depending on people, they like eating it less frothy and you know, some people like eating it like with more froth. I don't know what it's called but I just call it froth because it looks like froth. This is what natto looks like and when you eat it, it kind of leaves this. I, I want to I wanna show you guys the... This thing. Well, some people say they're really reluctant to eat it because it looks like this. Because not many foods, you know, in other countries have... Oh, why does it blur? Um, not many foods in other countries have this kind of... Well, in Japanese, you call it ito hiku, 
but yeah, some people find this like stringy thing. Well, some people say it doesn't really look appetizing. But I don't know. I like natto, so yeah, for me it looks delicious. But maybe for some people it doesn't really look as delicious as how I see it. <laughs> if that makes sense. So in Japan, there's different kinds of natto, and those natto are priced differently. The normal natto is usually around 100 yen. This is like this kind of natto. Um, depending on the source, they may like differ in price. The sources, some of them have seaweed in them. They also have natto that are cut up into small pieces, so it's easier to eat. They also have like a different taste as well. Yeah, I think the most expensive natto that I've seen is around 400 to 500 yen, which is pretty expensive compared to the 100 yen natto that you can buy. And usually they come in a pack of three, so that's three natto packs for 100 yen, which is pretty cheap, right? Because you can eat it with rice and natto only and... And so people eat natto in various different ways. Well, most people eat it on rice. My way of eating natto deliciously, well, I have two ways of eating natto deliciously. One is um, if you're going to eat it for breakfast, then I have toast. I spread Vegemite on the toast. I put natto on top of that. I put cheese you know, cheese that melts on top of that. And then I put it in the toaster for around four to five minutes, let the cheese melt and voila, a mix of Australian and Japanese food. Um, it's really delicious though. I don't know, um, maybe for those of you watching, <laughs> it might kind of be like, Vegemite and natto, really? And then you're adding cheese on top of that? But it's actually really, really nice. I really want you guys to try it. The second way of eating natto deliciously is... Oh, I'm gonna have the video here because I ate it yesterday. <laughs> um, is having, having rice in a bowl. And then you put kimchi on the side. And then you put natto. And then on top of that, you add cooked eggs. Yeah, um, when you eat it, you like mix everything together. And then make it all like mushy and then you eat it it looks a bit weird because it's like red and you have like the stringiness of the natto and then you have like the, the egg yolks mixing in together with the kimchi and natto but it's really delicious so if you guys are interested in natto or you've tried natto and you want some other ideas of eating natto deliciously please try that out because it's really delicious and it's really easy to make it only takes you like five minutes and so today i talked about the japanese food natto please tell me in the comments how you felt seeing that natto or um please let me know if you've tried natto and how you felt when you ate it because <laughs> yeah um i hear well i've been eating it since i was a child so i'm used to the taste and i'm used to the smell and um, when i smell it i think wow a smell that tastes tasty so i want to know how you guys feel about natto i hope you enjoyed it today and i'll see you in the next video bye